So this video is going to be another video about video, which I realize at this point might be a little tiring since the first two were also about video, um, but I've been thinking about it a lot because I want to answer this question of what these vlogs are for, if that's even a fair thing to ask. Um, and I think I'm on my way there, uh, so sort of like bear with me while I kind of work it out because uh, there's a little bit of a backstory. Um, so when my friends and I uh, were just small internet people. Um, we sent an email to this woman, Jude Milhan, who's better known as St. Jude. Um, and she's most well known for being one of the first female hackers. Uh, she coined the word cypherpunk. Uh, but we knew her from the books that she worked on. Um, she wrote uh, the cyberpunk handbook. She wrote How to Mutate and Take Over the World. She was a senior editor for um, Mondo 2000, which was a kind of like predecessor to Wired. Um, and in the backs of these books, um, which were just hugely important and influential um, for me and my friends as young nerds interested in computers, she put her email address. Uh, so we emailed her and she emailed us back, which was shocking and amazing, and began what was a pretty long and really awesome internet friendship. Like, we would send messages to one another, emails, we would hang out on ICQ. Um, she sent an email to my dad once. So, like, we were friends. Like, we knew each other, though we never met in person. Um, she died in 2003. Um, and, you know, what the internet did was to turn what was essentially this huge, like, mythical figure into a real person that I could interact with and ask advice of and... Um, like, make jokes with. And to say that that was important and influential in my life at that time, I was like, what, maybe 13 or 14, would be a massive understatement. Um, and so, recently, uh, I mean, if you can even say recently, because this video has taken me two months and, like, three or four tries to get right, um, I've been thinking about that and how it relates to this thing, um, because, you know, like, after after I uploaded the first video, the meta video, um, Non Sparkly on YouTube uploaded a video where he talked about how he watched the video and then um, at replied me on Twitter and I replied back. And for him, that was a very big and important, um, you know, I'll just let him, I'll let him say it. So last night, Mike uploaded uh, an amazing piece of contemporary art to his private uh, channel here on YouTube, uh, his first vlog. And I had forgotten to uh, subscribe to him, uh, which I did. And then I tweeted to him about that, I replied to him. And here's when the amazing thing happens for me, because uh, when I tweeted to him, he tweeted back. So he answered a lot of tweets that night, uh, but mine was uh, kind of special to me, uh, because... I was not prepared for that, because this is one of my heroes, right? So that's, I mean, I, like, I don't even know what to do with this information, because Non Sparkly says so many nice and flattering things about me, uh, and thank you, uh, but, like, I promise, I really am just a, just a normal dude, like, I'm just a guy who lives in an apartment, uh, here, here's my, here it is, um, sorry, I'm sure it's my very blurry apartment, um, and... But the thing that I made, and, um, having an interaction with him was clearly like, really important. And so that makes me think about uh, this thing that Dan Brown said. Uh, I think it was Dan Brown. And Dan, if you see this and it wasn't you, please correct me and also don't get mad. Um, he said that uh, vlogging is like a simulated friendship. And I don't think that's necessarily true, but I also don't think that the opposite is true. Because when I think about people who I know from the internet, like just from Twitter or from YouTube, I mean, as far as some of them are concerned, at least, I wouldn't say we're not not friends. Um, so I think the truth must be somewhere in the middle. And maybe that's what these videos are for, is to figure out that place where we can be friends, but don't have to be friends, and also aren't friends, like the sort of simulacra of friendship, because that seems, uh, like, boring and dishonest. Because um, when I think about my friendship... With St. Jude, um, you know, like, if I could pay the internet back for that somehow, because uh, I can't pay her back for it, uh, that would be, that would be something else. And, and, I don't know, maybe that's selfish or stupid or vain, um, but I think that's the thing that I'm going to try to do with these videos in the next video. 
from the video after that, which I promise won't be about, I half promise won't be about video. Quarter promise.